My heart couldn't take too much more of that snapper action, so I talked Phil into taking me to his secret tailor spot, where he's seen several four and five kilo fish swimming around. He's never had a five kilo fish on board, so being a tailor nut, I just couldn't resist a chance to try and break the boat record. I'm on! Whoa! He's just cracked that lure! Whoa! <laughs> now that's a tailor! This could be the biggest tailor I've ever hooked, actually. And uh, as luck would have it, I've hooked it over the sharpest rocks you've ever seen. He's going up. Oh, he's got his own bow wake. Tell you what, I reckon he just about toes home. He's a strong boy. Some nice colour on him now. I reckon he might be past his best work. He's just about to give us a display of colour. Oh, tell you what, that's a big tailor. Not done. Oh, keep him swimming here, mate. It's about a minute away, I think. Here we go. Look at this. Oh, my goodness! Oh, look at the size of him. Look at that. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> we'll be right. You're coming up. My best ever tailor. And he is a jumbo. He's coming towards the net. Well, I took the pressure off there. That was a bad mistake. That was all my fault. Never do that. Always keep his head up when you've got his head up, if you can. Oh, he's, that don't like it. he's got some strength too, and some thickness. Here we go, into the net this time, swimming Swim. over. Oh, that's a great job with the net, Phil. <laughs> Make no mistakes with that Beauty. one. Beauty. <laughs> oh, I've never been happier. He yeah, gets five. Five, five kilos. kilos. Five kilos. <laughs> I wouldn't ordinarily weigh a fish, but I'm Mr. Taylor fanatic. I got one around my neck, as you can see. I love Taylor. And that's my biggest fish. That's why I wear one there, a lucky charm. And it's lucky for me today. I'll show you this one. Now that is what five kilos of Taylor looks like. It's absolutely magnificent. And I am the happiest person on planet Earth right now. My best ever Taylor. Right here on camera with you guys. Magnificent. I'm gonna go put him back. Now I'm not gonna just drop him. I'll pop him in the water and see how he feels. How do you feel? Yeah, you feel pretty good. Okay, I do too. Not far from Shark Bay is the town of Carnarvon. Famous for the Quabba Coast, you might remember the afternoon I spent with Sean Brandenburg along North Nine Mile Beach. That day he used great skill to also land a monster tailor, but on our next visit, Sean was keen to show me a completely different kind of Carnarvon fishing. We're actually at Oyster Creek at the moment. Uh, it's looking pretty good. Tide's starting to drop a bit. You can make for some very exciting fishing. You can uh, get amongst just about anything here from uh, soapies, kingies, mangrove jack to trevally, uh, small cod, and a few brim and javelin fish as well. It's, it's fairly uh, multicultural if you want to speak <laughs> it that way. Now this, this area is covered in mangroves. They're quite an amazing plant. They're the only thing that'll grow here in this salt water. They convert salt into fresh water and that's how they survive. And the roots are where the bait fish live at high tide. When it drops out, the bait fish have nowhere to hide and the big fish crack them. So we've got little bait fish imitations, swimming lures that wobble around in the water. We're going to throw them across, drag them back and hopefully a big fish Maybe even a couple of big fish. Let's see it. Gonna nail them. So let's get going, and hopefully I'm not gonna fall on my backside in this mud. Mud was right. That stuff was like quicksand. But although the dog looked more at home than I did, it wasn't long before a feisty river fish jumped on the lure. Oh, he's grabbed that lure right in the bank. Come here. Oh, come to Steve. What is it? It's a javelin fish. Wow, I've never caught one of them before. That is a javelin fish, isn't it? Yeah, it's actually a baby jack, that one, very pale in colour. Oh, look at that, you're right. It's a little silver mangrove jack. Ah! 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 ah. Oh, that hurts. Oh, that's a mangrove jack, not a javelin fish. And you can tell that because a guy I'm fishing with told me. <laughs> I thought it was a javelin fish. But you can see that it's actually quite silver. And it's just got the little red tips on the tail. There it is. 
They're aggressive little things. Tag team release. <laughs> They're kind of sunnies. It's not easy, is it? <laughs> but it's fun. That's the main thing, it's all fun. When I get out of this mud. <laughs> just dug myself into a hole. Now I know what you brought the dog for, to wipe yeah. your hands on. This was a better little fish. Yeah, nice oh, jack. it's a jack. I know that because I've seen one before. <laughs> That's a better one. Now that looks like a mangrove jack. Tell me I'm right. That's the one, mate. Okay, <laughs> good. <laughs> Got it right that time. There you go. The aggressive mangrove jack. Look at that teeth. Oh, there you go. Spit at the camera. Now, that hook come right out of there. Oh, it's got him well, actually. Let's pop that out. Come on, let go. Let go. Oh, don't bite me. Let go. Here you go. What a pretty fish. They are one of my favorite fish. They're beautiful to eat. This one's a little bit small. I'll pop him back, but he's going gold in the afternoon sun, and it's starting to go off here in the creek. Quick release, off you go. Where's the dog? I need to wipe my hands. Here. Call your, call your serviette. Come here, serviette. All right. Hey, have you hooked up there? I think I have. It's about a, a kilo or two kilo GT, I think. Oh, that's a big call, eh? It's about a two kilo GT, I think. You're pretty confident. <laughs> oh, that is a good fish. Very aggressive head shakes. He's not done yet, is he? No. To do. The giant trevally obviously start their life out in these creeks as very small fish and move offshore as they get larger. But when they're this size, they'll hang around the coast, around rocks, and they'll also come up these creeks to feed at low tide because they know it's an easy meal. And Sean's got a leader there tied onto his main line of about 40 pounds for this reason. Oh, lovely. And you got a face full of mud, didn't you, eh? <laughs> As you can see by his tail, he's been uh, harassed by a larger fish again. So and That looks pretty fresh too, so there's obviously some big fish in here. Put him back in, in the water now? I think so. I was going to give him a swim, but he's quite active. Mate, it's a giant trevally. They don't take much in code. Look at that, he's having a big swim along the line of the, the mud there, and I'm going to go in too. I'm on. Oh, go. He's grabbed that right and sure, hasn't he? Got a bit of power. He sure has, a bit of dead weight there. Might even be an estuary cod. A nah, small jack. It's a mangrove jack. It's not a bad one. He's trying to muddy up your pants. Yeah. Watch out, the dog wants it. <laughs> nice work, that's a big one. There you go. Aren't they beautiful? There's an Oyster Creek mangrove jack. Not a large one, but probably about 400 grams all the same, 500 grams. Very healthy, very colourful this one. Off. Off like a rocket. Whether you're ballooning from quabba, chasing mulloway along the coast, or wandering around in the mud, there's certainly no shortage of fishing options in Carnarvon. And that's why I go back year after year. 